Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Reiboot. If you've ever come across any issues with your iOS device, rather you're constantly stuck on an Apple logo, a reboot loop, a black screen, just stuck, Reiboot offers a standard repair which fix up to 150 iOS issues with no data loss. If you have more serious problems, you have the deep repair which allows you to restore your device back to factory working order and you can enter and exit recovery mode with one single click. So check out Reiboot, links will be in the description down below. So Apple Apple has released yet another beta today for iOS 15.1, today releasing iOS 15.1 Developer Beta 2. Now public beta testers, as per usual, you may see this populate on your device 24 to 48 hours later, but this software aims to fix one major issue, particularly plaguing iPhone 13 models. So if you're excited for iOS 15.1, of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So iOS 15.1 has been released, beta 2 that is, a week later after beta 1, which means one thing and one thing only. Apple is on a weekly release schedule. Last week we saw 15.1 beta 1 on the 21st. Now we see beta 2 on the 28th. That's exactly seven days later. So that means Apple is quickly ramping up this software to release it to the general public as soon as possible and this one brings a major fix which we'll talk about in this video now this beta comes in at approximately 944 megabytes on this iphone 13 pro max so that's going to depend always uh, the device that you have and the software that you're updating from for me it was close to a gig now aside from ios 15.1 beta 2 apple has also updated ipad os 15.1 to beta 2 as well watch os 8.1 beta 2 this one is important make sure you update your apple watch and we'll get to some of the details here in just a few seconds and of course tvOS 15.1 beta 2 is now out for registered developers as well again public beta testers you could see this within the next 24 to 48 hours we're going to take a look here at the bill number quickly so that you can see the latest bill number for those of you that may be interested there it is 19b5052 Two F, and that's going to be the latest bill number for iOS 15.1 Developer Beta 2. By the way, if you want this wallpaper that you're seeing here, the developer will be linked in the description down below, and you can download it from the description. Now, you guys always want to know about the wallpapers, links in the description down below. But anyway, iOS 15.1 Developer Beta 2 aims to fix one major issue for iPhone 13 Mini, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max, and that is communication issues with Apple Watch. Now the feature on their Face ID that allows you to unlock your iPhone while you wear a mask has been reported to have issues for many users. This feature here that allows us to unlock the Apple Watch, right here, unlock the iPhone using Apple Watch, this feature was having issues for many, many users on iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. Now this software, Beta 2 for iOS 15.1, fixes this particular issue. So if you couldn't unlock your iPhone while you were wearing a mask, and it was telling you that there was communication issues from your device to Apple Watch, this will fix that particular situation and that is a big deal for Apple obviously the new iPhone 13s are out they want to make sure that it works with Apple Watch and the mask detection feature is working properly communicating properly with Apple Watch and it looks like that's one of the biggest new features and changes or actually bug fixes for iOS 15.1 of course I'm going to continue digging around the software trying to find additional new features and changes so make sure you stay tuned for my follow-up video but I can also say that screen sharing and share place more stable on this particular version of iOS 15.1. I've been testing for about an hour and it seems like it's a lot snappier, the connection, and the connection to SharePlay is a lot quicker within the latest beta, which is obviously a good thing to see coming from Apple within iOS 15.1. I'm very excited. Now this software, again, beta two coming a week later, we can anticipate additional betas every week from here on out. We may see four to five betas before this software is released to the general public. So maybe mid-October, we could see 15.1 be released. There's still additional features to come. Of course, you can stay tuned to the channel for additional follow-up. Now, we're still anticipating iOS 15.0.1 to be released to the general public because keep in mind, this is only for developers and public beta testers. We're still anticipating Apple to release 15.0.1 to address Apple Watch communication problems for iPhone 13 users to the general public. That software is to be expected most likely tomorrow or sometime later this week. We'll have 
to wait and see. But stay tuned to the channel, as I mentioned. Thank you for watching this quick update on iOS 15.1 Developer Beta 2, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.